Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good Fella One Boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, let's talk about what Mikey Garcia should do next. A few options out there for him. Goodfellas Sports TV, it's your boy CJ Goodfellas. Blessings to the brothers and sisters out there supporting the channel. And I, I definitely appreciate it, man. Definitely, definitely appreciate everybody showing love, birthday wishes, donations, and just people who share the videos and appreciate the content. Um, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com, baby. Website promo code are in the description. Goodfellas one boxing is that you get 18% off of that promo code. So doing some giveaways throughout the week. got to work out a few kinks. But um, we're here, man. Definitely here. We're going to talk about what Mikey should do right now. And for me, I think he should take the rest of the year off. All right. Um, Not be not to be stagnant at the earliest. I come back in November, de- December from him. I take the year off. Um, I, I just heal. I rest. I eat well. And I get back to training about two months. You know, just, you know, light training. Strength. Get, I'm staying. I'm still. If I was him, I would still do strength and conditioning training. Still live, still do sit ups, um, eat right, enjoy life, enjoy the money I made. But you know, for now, we know he doesn't belong at one forty seven, so he can go down to one forty. But ultimately, he should need to try to fight Lomachenko. I know Terence Crawford offered Lomachenko a uh, catch weight at one thirty, one hundred thirty seven pounds or one hundred thirty seven and a half pounds. Um, you know what I'm saying? I know he offered him catch weight there, so um, Lomachenko didn't take it. Um, Lomachenko wouldn't let Rigondeaux get a catch weight. Um, made Rigondeaux come up to 130. So, um, yeah. So just looking at the situation, Lomachenko ain't accommodating nobody. Okay, he don't want to fight Mikey. He want to go down to 130 and possibly fight Javante Tank Davis. I don't even know if he's going to unify the 135 pound belts. But if Mikey can't go back down to 35, if Mikey can't get him to fight at 140 a catch weight, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. You know, Lomachenko need Mikey more than Mikey need Lomachenko. Okay, Lomachenko, and I would tell Tevin, I would tell Javante T. Davis not to fight Lomachenko neither if I'm him. All right, he don't want to fight me, don't fight him. Okay, this dude always want every advantage in his in his um in his favor. Lomachenko, he don't want to never accommodate nobody, man. You know, uh, even before Nicholas Watchers, Watchers coming off of the, almost a year layoff. You know, Moraga coming off a loss. Jason Sosa was a joke. You know what I'm saying? He got a moral victory over Orlando Salido because he came in overweight. People act like it didn't happen. So, for me, you know, I would just, you know, I would freeze Lomachenko out if I'm PBC. If you don't want to fight Mikey at, at a catch weight at 140 or, you know, Mikey can't make 35, he still don't want to make it, you're not fighting none of my fighters until you fight Mikey, period. And you can retire. Tank don't need Lomachenko. Tank legacy is yet to be written yet. Tank is 23, 24 years old. He got a whole career behind him. But what Mikey's number one target is to be fighting Lomachenko. You know what? Erase that Earl Spin shit out your mind. But at that point, Lomachenko might feel Mikey might be weaker. He could take advantage of Mikey. He might feel that Mikey, like, I can't stop Mikey. Can I outbox Mikey for 12 rounds? He's a very powerful dude. He might not want Mikey now. You know, he told about Manny Pacquiao, said he didn't want to fight Manny Pacquiao because Pacquiao was old and wasn't no point of fighting Pacquiao because he was an old dude. There was, you know, nothing to, you know, nothing to gain from him. He was scared to fight Pacquiao. You know, he didn't want to lose to so old head. So, you know, with Mikey Garcia, he might say, oh, he lost to Errol, and it's nothing really to gain there. And, you know, because, you know, he can't stop Mikey now. For sure that. He know that for sure. He can't stop him, Mikey. And, you know, Mikey is powerful. But if that don't happen for Mikey, um, you know, you know, he can fight the winner of the World Boxing Super Series Tournament. You know, may it be... Progress, Baroshnik, uh, with Baroshnik out of it, Progress, Taylor, or if they unify, and then you want to fight the unified winner, you can go to the zone and fight Maurice Hooker. You can fight Richard Progress if you win a tournament. You can fight Josh Taylor if you win a tournament. But really, I don't think those do it for him unless one of those dudes collect all three belts or four belts and then Mikey Garcia fight him. Mikey Garcia is list- looking for, you know, uh, career, you know, career-defining fights at this point. He looking for something to cover up the Earl fight. And I think Lomachenko is the only one that can do it unless somebody unify titles at 140. But stay, staying at 147 is an option as well, too. Uh, he can always fight Sean Porter. He can always fight Danny Garcia. 
He can try his crack at Keith Thurman. Um, you know, but for me, I think it's better for him to chase Lomachenko, beat him, um, and possibly, you know, try to unify Bills at 140, get out the game. But he need big names. Um, you know, he need big names. I know he wants the big fights. You don't want to go from that atmosphere to, you know, you know, the atmosphere that's not that, you know, good. So for me, his 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 pickings are, are slim. You know, Lomachenko, um, the winner of the World Box Super Series at 140, if they unify with, you know, maybe Jose Ramirez or Maurice Hooker, um, Danny, Sean, Keith, F47. But one thing for sure, he need a long break off, heal up, see what he want to do. He might retire. He might not want to fight no more, not because Earl beat the shit out of him, because options are limited. Who is really going to, you know, even if he's had a tune-up, after tune-up or two or three tune-ups a year full of tune-ups, who is really going to get him that atmosphere that Earl gave him? Who is really going to give him that atmosphere that Robbie Jr. gave him out there, really? Outside of 147, at 140, and 135, who's really going to give him that atmosphere, a big fight? Uh, you know, Lomachenko is the only one. You know, Progress can build up, you know, but you got to wait for Progress, you know, Ramirez, Taylor, Hooker to build them all up. And then, again, some of them dudes busting at the team, they can go to 147. So Lomachenko is the ideal fight for him right now, man. That's the fight that he should be wanting, should be promoting, should be trying to get. And um, that would just be my thing, make that fight happen. If it don't happen, then, you know, I don't know where he goes from there other than maybe retiring or trying to go to 40 and unify all the titles. But, you know, we don't, we don't know the extent of the punishment that he took until he come back, and that's why it's good for him to take time off, take two months off, go on a vacation somewhere nice or travel, you know, to eat Middle East or travel Asia, travel Europe in general, or, you know, I would take a two-month vacation and just chill out, come back after two months, start doing strength and conditioning. He should stay with the strength and conditioning program with Victor Conti. And, you know, I try, I tell my team to go make the Lomachenko fight happen, straight up. I come back down to 35 if I can in a tune-up fight and defend my belt. And I say, if Lomachenko won all the belts, I'm retaining my belt. He need to come through me. And I fight Lomachenko. I get all the belts at 35 if that's what happens. Um, and then from there, you know, I just take big fights. If the fights are not lucrative enough for me, then I'm done. Possibly he could fight Manny Pacquiao. What if Earl fights Sean and, and Pacquiao is somehow still around next year? He beat Keith Thurman or he beat a, a regular opponent like Ugas in June 29th. And somehow him and, him and Mikey can come through. So I don't really know. You know, it's Lomachenko a bust, in my opinion, for Mikey Garcia. But stars will arise, you know. Um, so, I need Unified 140, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, you know, Danny Garcia fight, uh, you know, really, pickings are slim for him. You know, he should have fought Lomachenko first, could have did a rematch with Lomachenko, fought Earl Spence then, and, and got out the game, you know. Said he only won three more fights, but... You no, know, he dared to be great, you know, can't knock him for it. But it's right now it's Lomachenko a bust for him. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, it's Lomachenko a bust. That the green belt he got at 35 is really, you know, in Lomachenko, that's really all he got right now to really clean up his blemish to Earl Spence last night. He beat Lomachenko, turn around, be undisputed at 135. You know, that's what people going to talk about, not just the loss to Earl Spence. People going to say he was undisputed at 135. So that's what I would go for from him. Other than that, it's just right now, pickings are slim for him. I hate to sound redundant, but they are very, very slim. So I love to hear what you guys think Mikey, uh, Mikey Garcia should do uh, moving forward. Retirement, Danny, Sean, Keith, Pacquiao, the winner of the World Box Super Series Tournament, Hooker. Is it as a contingency plan for the Garcias if he want to fight Jose Ramirez? I heard them talk about that or Lomachenko. So love to hear you guys' opinion on that. Um, blessings, good fellow sports TV. And, um... Yeah, man, I think Mikey and Loma is the, the only fight that should happen. But don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, response, ship, or feed request. Other than that, man, just keep sharing the videos. Man, if you want to make a donation to the channel, that link's always in the description. The best way to donate is to share, share the videos. Please continue to share the videos. I said again, share, share, share. Share them on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of them, man. Share them with people that talk boxing, NFL, NBA, um, everything we talk about. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. It's only $2 a month for hardcore boxing fans, Mother Tier. 
Food for Thought tier is two dollars a month as well. Cheap, cheap, cheap. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hillblaze, the Hillblaze.com, promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Get you 18% off their all natural products from lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, toothpaste, hair pomade, much, much more. Website promo code in the description. We are giving doing giveaways um throughout the weeks. Check it out. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We gone.